this week's of RBN. I'm Lexi Sloan. And I'm Hayden Klinker. With our co-host, Squeakers the Mouse. First, we're going to make you use your brain with deep thoughts with Jacob and Antoine. A skill, in your personal opinion, is it more important to be truthful or to be kind? I guess to be kind. Um, because... We always want to make sure that we're making a positive impact. And although I think that the truth is very, very important, I also think that sometimes the truth can make a negative impact and sometimes is unnecessary. And so I think it's more important to be kind. Oh, wow. You mean like if someone asks you a question and telling the truth will hurt their feelings? Yes. Truth truth. I think the truth is most important. To be truthful. Well, okay, so right. kindness can be pushed around. This is the way I see it. Uh, kindness can be pushed around. So I can kindly try to convince you that stop signs are green, but the truth is they're red. Truth is immovable. So I do believe people should be kind and truthful, but truth is always going to hold up compared to kindness. Mr. Miller, in your personal opinion, is it more important to be truthful or to be kind? I think you should always search for a way to tell the truth in a kind way. In your personal opinion, is it more important to be truthful or to be kind? I would say it's more important to be truthful. Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, change phrase, change phrase, change I would say it's more important to be kind than to be truthful. Okay. In your personal opinion, is it more important to be truthful or to be kind? Truthful. It is important to be truthful, but if you have to be, try to be kind. Okay. Miss Queen, is it more important to be truthful or to be kind? I think it could be both. I do think that um, being truthful is very important. And make sure that you have kind delivery. I think sometimes people think that if you are truthful that you're not a kind person and that you're mean. Um, it comes across as being too strong, too assertive, too abrasive, but I don't feel that that's necessarily true. I think the order that you get, you appreciate truthfulness and honesty much more. Um, just going to be kind in your delivery. Truthful. Okay. Uh, any, any, <laughs> anything extra? Anything extra? I'll have to think about it. Okay. Cut that. Um, I guess... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no, I, you mean explain? Or? Yes, if you don't mind. I would say there's situations... Education, I don't know. Okay, never mind, I don't want to explain. Next, we'll be seeing what you choose with Would You Rather with Gabe and Zane. I am here with... Liv Farmer. And Liv, would you rather go to Eastern or Western? Uh, well, probably, probably Western because I just... I don't know, I'm not a big fan of Eastern. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah. I am here with... The Kymenator. What's her name? A.K.A. Kym Shay. And Kym, would you rather get punched in the face by Prime Mike Tyson or get bit by a really big and mean dog with rabies? You see, uh, I'm going to have to probably choose Mike Tyson there. Why? Simply because... Uh, Rabies is a serious cause. Fair enough, and fair enough. We, we need to bring some awareness to rabies because it turns people into sausages. Yep, all right, fair enough. Thank you. I'm here with... Abril Johnson. And Abril, I have a would you rather question. Um, would you rather burn to death or drown to death? Mm -hmm. I'll have to say mm, burn to death because you're going to be breathing out the smoke and you're going to die anyways. Okay, and why? Why? Because I don't want to feel pain when I die. Alright, fair enough. Thank you. What are you listening to in class? Well, we're about to find out with what are you listening to with Gage and Khan. Hey, what's good, man? Nothing. You see that airpod in your right here right now? Yeah. And I got a question for you. What's your question? 
What song is playing in your right ear right now? Didn't you know? Didn't you know? Yeah. Erica Badu? Yeah. I see you have an AirPod in. Yeah. What song are you listening to right now? Um, more than that, the Caden Wallace. My man, thank you very much. Keep your mind and quit messing with mine. I see you have an AirPod in. You're, you're rocking out pretty hard. What are you listening to right now? Her Elise by Beethoven. Bye. Oh, that's a good song. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's all, folks. Now we're on to Jacob and Antoine. Hi, I'm Antoine. Howdy, and I'm Jacob Stanley. And these are the rest of our announcements. Um, we have track conversations with Shelby. You know, Lexi shared for track. So, who's your coach for track? Uh, Allie Shaw. What do you guys do for like in track practice? Well, we practice running out of blocks. The throwers go throw with Miss Shaw. We sprint. We do our individual races. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of stuff. Um, hurdlers, you know, they practice jumping over hurdles. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of stretching and like lunches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just what is your personal goal for the upcoming season? My personal goal is to run as hard as I can and as fast as I can, mm -hmm. and hopefully try to beat my PR. Um, what is your expectations for the upcoming season for 2024? Mm -hmm. I expect that we're going to do really good this year in sprinting because we have a lot of brand new sprinters and they are super good. Well, that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. um, what is the team personal strength? Sprinting. sprinting. Definitely sprinting right now. Um, most of the distance runners graduated last year, mm -hmm. which did set us back a little bit, but you know, there's new people that should be coming in that would run distance as well. Um, how do you handle pressure at, uh, during a meet or like right before you start? Well, me, I freak out in the inside, but then I like to tell myself that I got this. It's just a race. They won't be mad at me if I don't win as long as I'm trying my hardest. I'm with Gary Richmond, senior for track. Um, so what's your expectation for that coming season? PR and get a lot stronger for my upcoming challenges in the future. Um, who's your actually, who's your track coach? I actually don't know that. Mr. Montgomery, but we all, and all the boys call him Popeye. What is your specific goal in the upcoming season? PR. Just PR? Yeah. What do you think the biggest strength is as a whole team? Always cheering each other on and working together. And helping others get stronger when one person's like well and all that. Um, how do you handle pressure at a meet or like right before you start? I just breathe and run. <laughs> run straight, turn left. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we have Dumb Thoughts with Lexi and Hayden. I would just sell hot chocolate in Florida in the summertime. I wouldn't. Why? Because uh, that'd be a pretty that'd be a pretty tough thing to do. It just doesn't seem like a very smart idea. Why? Because uh, it's hot in Florida. And nobody wants to drink hot chocolate in warm weather. How do you know that? Well, because it's just it's just not how it'd be working. Because what? Because that's just not how it'd be working. How would you sell hot chocolate in Florida in the summer? I wouldn't. Why? <laughs> because it would um, <laughs> melt. How? It wouldn't be hot, it'd be cold. How? 
Because <laughs> it would. Oh. It would. What do you think of garden gnomes? Garden gnomes, they're scary. Why? Because <laughs> they're scary. They're scary. Why? What do you mean? What makes them scary? It's <laughs> really close. <laughs> How many windows are in New York? Uh, eight million and two hundred and fifty thousand. Why do you think it's so much? Because there's, <laughs> there's a lot of buildings. I didn't know that. It's because it's New York. You think it's that much building? Yeah. Why so many? Because <laughs> it's New York. If you could choose one song to play every time you walk in a room, what would you choose and why? Starships by Nicki Minaj because I'm an icon. Are you? Yeah. Oh. Are you really? Yes. Yes. Shepherd and I want to say she's like seven, I think. <laughs> this is Marley, she's a golden doodle, and she's about 12 to 13 weeks old. This is Tucker, he's a basset hound, and he's five years old. We're raising our dogs. Two, three, come on! Good girl! Good girl! Ellie, 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 Ellie,